Hello, my name is Haifa Al Mohanna. I'm from Al Amiri Diwan from Kuwait. Today, I'm really happy to participate in the virtual summit 2019 and would like to share with you Al Shaheed Park project. In 1980s, Kuwait started constructing the highways in which the Green Belt was part of it. So it was the vision of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah to rehabilitate the garden and was called as Al Shaheed Park. As part of the urban planning of Kuwait, the space was previously built as transition between the old city, industrial city, and the residential area of Kuwait. The urban design of Kuwait was designed to contain ring roads in which Al Shaheed Park is the green strip occupying one of these rings, previously known as Green Belt. As Amiri Diwan, we started designing the park, so we put all the ideas together and thought of dividing the park, the Green Belt Park, into phases to reach to a level of uh, the modern. Uh, parks in the whole world. Phase one of Al Shaheed Park is around 220,000 meters square. We did all the studies that how the roof garden system and wall garden system will add value for this park. This park is a positive transaction in our society culture where it became greener and healthier for future generations. For us in this project, the roof garden system was the solution ever for finding a way to keep the garden as green as possible and allowed us to do all types of facilities in both gardens, phase one and phase two. Using the roof garden system above the buildings of the facilities allowed us to decrease the temperature of the park and Kuwait considered to be the most country that have immigration birds. We have around more than 400 kinds immigrating through Kuwait and by using this system we are encouraging the wildlife of the park. Phase two of Al Shaheed Park, it's around 100,000 meters square. Using again the roof garden system, it allowed us to do all types of facilities such as the restaurant, the multi-purpose hall, plus the car park of 900 cars. Amiri Diwan consider phase one and two as cultural educational park since we're doing events all through the year and the upcoming third park will be mainly for kids and teenagers. Not to forget to mention that we've been using the roof garden system and the wall garden system in both phases so it's around 60 percent of the buildings and the facilities of the gardens is done by roof garden system. This coming year will be our fifth anniversary since we opened the park. After all these years, the use of Al Shaheed Park for national celebration, events, festivals under the memory of war martyrs. <laughs> In 2018, Al Shaheed Park got the International Green Roof Association Award. I'm very proud and happy to be part of this beautiful project that considered to be one of the biggest in the region. 
and it became as a cultural and important destinations to all Kuwaitis and residents of Kuwait.